Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and Natural, and in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can do high-end skin retouching in just five minutes, and how you can easily understand everything about frequency separation within five minutes. So basically, a brief introduction about frequency separation. Frequency separation is a skin retouching technique that helps us to divide the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. In the high frequency layer, usually we have the textures, and in the low frequency layer. Usually we have the colors or the skin tone. So when you combine both layers, you're going to be able to come up with the image as it is meant to be. So the very first thing we want to do or understand is how we can easily divide the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. So that when you combine both layers, we can be able to get back or come out with the original image that is not different at any point. So what we are we're just going to come to the background layer and hit Ctrl or Command J twice, or you can simply select the background layer and drag it and drop it to this new layer icon to create a copy out of it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to name this like I said, low frequency, and I'm going to name this into high frequency, just like that. So, usually. In the low frequency layer, we have the colors or the skin tones, and in the high frequency layer, we usually have the texture or the outlines of the image. So, what I want to do, I'm just going to come and hide the high frequency layer by clicking on the eye icon and come to the low frequency layer and select it. And I'm going to now retain only the information within the image that is the colors or the skin tones in the low frequency layer, like I've just explained to you. So just come right here to filter, blur, and come to gush and blur. So in this layer, we just want to remove or eliminate the textures from the low frequency layer and only retain the colors or the skin tones. So in this step, you have to ensure that you look for an area that has more skin textures than the rest of the skin of your subject or your model. And this radius shouldn't be crammed at any single point. So just come to the radius and simply move it up to a point when the details are just starting to disappear from the image so just take it up to a point when they're just starting to completely get lost but you can still look at or retain the original information within the image so you have to take this radius up to a point when you're just starting to lose out on the details meaning the details will lose out on this step at the details that you're going to be remaining with in the final retouched image so you shouldn't cram this like i said because different images may be having different levels of details and different images may be taken using different cameras that have different sensors or different megapixels so this radius of 10 is okay and just hit okay and now you can notice that the image is looking a little bit blurry but this is our major emphasis so just come to the high frequency and now select it and now come and activate it so like we did in the low frequency layer, in this layer we only want to retain the details or the textures in this high frequency layer. And in order to do that, just come right here to image and come down to apply image. So when you come to apply image, this is a point that is going to determine the type of frequency separation that you're going to be applying to this image. So you have to take into consideration that this is a 16-bit image. And if I told you have an 8-bit image, this is where I need your maximum attention so if i told you have eight right here it means that your image is going to be an eight bit image and if i told you have 16 right here your image is going to be a 16 bit image so just come to the layer right here and you select the low frequency layer meaning you're going to be subtracting the textures from the low frequency layer. that's why you have been able to select it and make sure the channel is rgb so if i told you have eight right here this is what you have to do Come the blending mode and change it from whichever it is to subtract and make sure the opacity is 100 percent Preserve transparency and mask are not checked. Make sure these two boxes are not ticked or checked. The scale has to be two and offset 128 and make sure invert is not checked. So when you do all this correctly with the preview on, you can see that the textures are on this gray kind of layer, and you can see everything is on this gray kind of layer. But if at all you have a 16-bit image like I have in this case. Just come and select the low frequency layer, change the blending mode to add, make sure the opacity is 100%, preserve transparency and mask cannot check. The scale this time around has to be 2 and the offset has to be 
zero and make sure you turn on the invert option and you'll have the same results on this gray kind of layer and simply come and click OK. So right now we have the textures on this gray kind of layer. Just come the blend mode and change it from normal and change it down to linear light and you get back the image the way it is meant to be. So just going to select both layers and put them in a group. So hold down Control Command and click on both layers and drag them into this folder icon and you can rename this by double clicking to frequency separation. So like I said, there shouldn't be a difference between your image and your frequency separation group. So when you turn this on and off, you can see there is no difference between our separated image and our initial background image. So meaning we have successfully divided the frequencies into the high frequency layer or the textures and the colors. So you're now going to start retouching this image. And in order to retouch, what we have to do is you can come and select the low frequency layer first. So retouching usually is more about blending or evening out the skin tones of the image. So select the low frequency layer and after selecting it, come and right click and get your mixer brush tool. So right click under the brushes and get your mixer brush tool. So if I told you to have all the versions of Photoshop, you can simply check your mixer brush tool from this option right here. So after selecting the mixer brush tool, we want to set it so that it can retouch for us better. So make sure the hardness is at 0%, meaning it is a soft mixer brush tool and make sure it is a clean brush and we have two options right here make sure you select the second one because we want photoshop to automatically clean the brush for us every single time you're trying to blend or even out the skin of the image and now come to the weight and use a weight of nine make sure the load is 75 mix at 90 and the flow at 100 percent make sure sample all as is not ticked or checked because when you tick this it means it's also going to be sampling information and painting it on the low frequency layer. meaning when i take this option and i start painting on the skin it means that it's also going to be painting the textures from the high frequency layer which we don't want so just undo that by hitting ctrl command z to undo and make sure you don't check this option select the low frequency layer and now you just want to see the areas that have an even skin tone transitions and in order to do that just come to the high frequency layer and now turn it off so that you can only look at the colors or the skin tones in the image and after doing that with the low frequency layer selected just come and like i said you can use ctrl command plus on the keyboard to zoom in and command minus to zoom out and in order to increase or decrease on the size of your mixer brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard so the open is going to reduce on the size and the close is going to increase on the size and now if at all your mixer brush tool is showing like this cross icon, make sure you turn off the caps lock key on the keyboard. So enough of that, you just want to start blending or even out the transitions within the skin of a model. And when I do that, just simply come and left click. So you left click and move your cursor and just paint colors that are looking alike and just blend them together. So reduce, you have to keep on playing around with different sizes of your mixer brush tool and come and mix the colors that are looking alike in your image just come and paint those colors and you can see you are trying to just mix the colors that are looking alike in the image and making sure that they are really blending or transitioning quite well so just come and like i said you have to keep on reducing or decreasing on the size of your mixer brush i'm playing with different sizes so that you can work on different areas and you don't have to use a uniform size of a mixer brush tool. So just come and paint just like that. And you can see we are now trying to blend the transitions within the colors of the skin tones in this particular image, just like that. So like when you're retouching, make sure you don't over zoom in because you want to retouch at a distance and look at every imperfection quite well as you are retouching. So come and also blend on the neck area just like that using your mixer brush tool and you can see it's really doing a perfect and nice and wonderful job so increase on the size and just come and blend right in this other side reduce on the size and continue blending the transitions within the skin tone so when you want to see what you are doing quite well or better you can now come and turn on the texture layer and zoom out 
and you can see it before and after for just using the Mr. Bad tool. And when you feel like that is enough for you, you can stop retouching at this very point. But if at all you feel like you just want to incorporate a second technique that is using the lasso tool, just come and select the lasso tool. Make sure you're feathering 22 pixels and now come and select on the skin area. Make sure you select on the skin area just like that. And you can come right to filter blur and come to Gaussian blur. And now take the radius up up the point when you feel like you're getting a nice skin texture. So at around 30, we are good to go. So this is more of refining the image after doing the skin retouching. So just come and right click and apply your Gaussian blur and just fine tune the image just like that. And when you're done doing all this or fine tuning the image, you can now come and simply uh, select the texture or high frequency layer and now deal with the blemishes. So you can get your spotting brush tool and remove the blemishes if at all you have any left in the image. So basically, this is the before and after, before, after. And after retouching, you want to export the image. So just come and export the image so that it doesn't change in color after you've been able to export it. So just come to file export and come to export as when you come export as it's going to open another window for you and in this window come and make sure the resample size or the format first of all has to be jpeg and now the resample has to be by cubic sharper because we want a slightly sharpened image and detailed image so make sure you also check this option that is embed color profile and also convert srgb so that the image doesn't change in color when you post it on social media and when you're done with that simply hit export and look for a folder where you want to save your image and that is it for today's story and if at all you have learned something don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel and this image was taken by new photographer and i'm going to link her instagram in the description of this video and i'll see you in yet another retouching story and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating